subscribe to techno starters and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos so today in this video i'm going to show you how you can install the official android 10 on the xiaomi mi a2 first of all i'm so sorry for the video quality today i had to record this video using the mobile phone so quality is not going to be that good I know some of you guys will say that I would have used a screen recorder instead of recording this uh, screen using the camera. But for the proof I had to show you both of the devices at the same time. So that's the reason why I'm using the camera to record the screen instead of a screen recorder. So now talking about the bugs, I found like one or two minor bugs in this room. So I will talk about them in detail at the end of this video. But as a normal user, I have no problem in using this ROM as a daily driver. So as you can see, I'm already using this ROM, but I will install this ROM again just to show you guys how to install this ROM. So before making this video, I'm assuming that you have your bootloader and critical partition already unlocked. If you don't know how to unlock them, you can watch any video tutorial about that. So now moving on to the installation of this ROM. So the first step is that power off your phone, boot into bootloader by pressing the power plus volume down button and insert the USB cable after. So the link to everything that I'm using in this video will be in the description. So you can download every file that I used in this video from the description. So the things you need to download are TWRP recovery, minimal ADB and fastboot drivers and of course the ROM file again guys I'm so sorry for the camera quality so after booting into bootloader and connecting your PC to the device open minimal ADB and fastboot and click CMD here option so now note one thing we are not going to flash anything we are not going to flash the TWRP recovery we are just going to boot into TWRP recovery booting is just like using a CD to play a movie you will have to insert CD whenever we play a movie and you will have to remove it after so now carefully type fast boot space boot space make sure that you type two spaces one after fast boot and one after boot so now let's find our TWRP recovery file So as you can see this TWRP recovery file here, we need to drag it and drop it in the CMD window. So just drag it and drop it here and press enter after that. In some cases you might have to press the enter twice to start the process. So this will boot our phone into TWRP just temporarily just for one time. Every time we want to use TWRP, we will have to boot it again. I'm not going to use permanent TWRP because permanent TWRP can cause problems with the stock ROM. So as you can see now we are successfully booted into the TWRP recovery. Now note one thing, there are two partitions like slot A and slot B. We are currently booted into slot B automatically. These are just like local disk C and local disk D on the PC. But listen to me carefully, the difference is that the ROM will always install on the opposite slot of the current slot. Like as you can see, my current slot is B, which means the ROM will install on the opposite slot A. And if my current slot was A, the ROM will install on the opposite slot B. This is only a case while installing a ROM. If you wanna install anything else like uh, Magic's root or something else, they always install on the same slot so now we will have to wipe both of the partitions A and B partitions so go to wipe select everything here swipe to factory reset go back click on format data type yes confirm by pressing this tick icon wait a little bit go back go to advanced wipe select everything here 
and swipe to wipe. So now we successfully wiped the slot B and now we will have to wipe the slot A. So click on slot A and listen to me carefully. After clicking on the slot A, it will say that current slot changed to A but in the reality it is not changed to slot A. Like I will click on the slot A now and as you can see it changed. It will say successfully changed but in reality it is still the slot B. So to change the slot properly we will have to click on the bootloader and boot again into TWRP recovery. We will have to do it every time. So swipe to reboot. It will say no OS install. So no problem just swipe. I mean we will have to reboot into bootloader and again into TWRP whenever we wanna change the slot. In case you are confused, fastboot and bootloader are the same thing. So now as I told you we will have to again boot into the TWRP recovery. So type that command again, fastboot space boot space and drag and drop the TWRP file here. So now successfully our slot is changed to slot A. Just remember what I told you that every time you wanna change a slot you will have to boot into bootloader and into TWRP again. So now we will wipe this slot. Go to wipe, swipe, go back, form and data. We will have to wipe everything I mean basically. Go back, go back again, go to advanced wipe. Select everything and wipe. Sometimes during the process of wiping it can say cannot find something like cache partitions, cannot find cache partitions. That is okay because in some slots sometimes there are no cache partitions. So you do not need to worry about that if the red letters say that cannot find cache partition. If it says something else then you may need to worry about it. So now both of the slots are clean we can install ROM on any slot. So go to advanced and go to adb side load. What the heck? Go to adb side load. Yeah. Select both of these. Swipe. Swipe to start the side load and wait for like 10 seconds here. It will keep saying starting ADB side load but in reality ADB side load is already started. Now type the command ADB space side load space adb space side load space and now we will have to drag and drop the rom file here this is the rom file ok so drag it and drop it in here press enter if it doesn't work press enter again and after a minute it will say diamond not running starting now and it will say diamond started successfully and you will be able to see the percentage right here so in most of the cases process completes just at 47 to 50 percent 
and let me show you the phone the phone will say like the rom is installing as you can see adb side load and the rom is installing installation press step 1 over 2 just wait for it to complete i will fast forward the video right here So as I told you the process will pause at 47% and it will instantly instantly complete I mean as you can see transfer 1x it means the process is complete and you can check on the phone it says uh, successful So swipe to unlock go back now remember what I told you I told you that rom flash is on the opposite slot So currently my slot was A as you can see the slot is A which means my rom flashed on the slot B so most of the guys do a mistake here now listen to me carefully again current slot is A which means the rom installed on the opposite slot B so before rebooting we need to change the slot to B so always after installing a rom change to the opposite slot because as i told you the rom installs on the opposite slot So go back. So now we do not need to boot into the bootloader because the purpose of rebooting to the bootloader was to restart the recovery, and we do not need to restart the recovery here. Now, if you want to root your device, you can download the Magix zip from this website. I will provide you the link in description. And you can flash it via the ADB side load method on the opposite slot. of your rom like if you install it like if you install the rom on slot a you need to install this magic zip on the slot b because remember as i told you rom always flashing on the opposite slot and other things always flash on the same slot so now you can simply close this adb or you can type exit so now you can either click on power off or you can click on the system to reboot your phone into the software like as you can see and now it will successfully boot into the android 10 official so this rom is 100% original and official rom file so now let's talk about the bugs and everything in detail so i'm using this rom from 2 days and the only bug that i faced was that there was no ringtone by default i had to download the ringtone from somewhere and then i had to select it I know some of the guys on Android ten are reporting issues like they are getting problems on the Bluetooth file transfer and uh, call noises like call echoes. But so far, luckily, I found no issue like that at all. Everything is working perfectly for me, including Wi-Fi, network, battery life is good, and everything is working great. So video for tomorrow will be how to install Google Camera Pixel 4 camera on it along with astro photography without permanently rooting. So if you appreciate my efforts please subscribe to the channel.